It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Okay. Man. Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We've, we've, got, a, uh, we've got a problem. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, it's not what you think it is. There's uh, Christy at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. There's Pat Godwin at the Oxford Gold Group Performance Arena. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> hey, buddy. Almost I almost coming. fainted coming in here. Hey, Willie. I've never seen Josh look so proud have, of himself. Uh, have you uh, gotten the aroma yet, Willie? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, the farthest hell? possible what person. You, I've got nothing. What did you do? Is everything I, okay? I, did you eat some bad salmon or something? No, I, I just reheated some leftover cod oh. for my breakfast. <laughs> Ew. Are you kidding me? I am what not is, kidding. I almost, I, almost cussed. I almost said the big one. I what is I'm wrong with you? I'm not kidding. That's when Workplace I, when 101. I, Josh, right. When Everywhere. I turned the corner, I thought, what the hell? <laughs> I wish. I, somebody did. And I, I had salmon for dinner last night, and I'm thinking. What is wrong with you? Why would you do minute. that? It smells like a wet. <laughs> oh, it's uh, awful. Uh, 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 feces filled diaper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh left out God. in the sun and then rained on and then going You guys by. know how I like to have my uh, protein, protein entrees in the morning. Your fish. and uh, Normally I have a smoked salmon. I'm out of it. All I had left was the leftover cod and uh-huh. so I brought it in and I heated on it up. On the one hand, wow. I'm glad it wasn't gas being expelled. Yes. Oh, that would be body. inhuman, wouldn't it? Yeah. I thought you'd... When he said, well, Josh has a problem, I go, oh, my God, did he just... No, that's not me. Go to, the, that's go the, into that's his pants? What, that's just what I eat. <laughs> oh, that was... Do we have to get a new microwave? <laughs> uh, it's going to be there for a while. Oh. Why is... I'm, I'm furious. You know what? I'm with Ace. <laughs> this is Workplace one. That's the thing. And you then the microwave smells like cod for like six weeks. Yeah. No. Just yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go in there. To make it smell better, I'll go in there and burn some popcorn. <laughs> there you go. I'd rather smell yeah, that. I would rather that. Too. I Get really in there would. with like a lemon or something. When that cut it, who knows? Oh, oh it'll go God. away. Give it an hour. You think a lemon would help that? I don't think. How about one of those odor sponges? I've seen those at the uh, hardware store. Do those mm-hmm. work? Where you just, they're supposed to spo- yeah. soak up odor? Do hey, you know? any, does anybody want some? No, you still I don't have some left. Good. I don't want any of your breakfast fish, Josh. <laughs> that smells like poopy diapers. Do you still have some left? Yeah, I've got another like fillet or whatever. <laughs> Did you? Oh. Man, that, they're all. It's in my heated up dish. This is so weird. Would you please go you, eat it uh, and get rid of it did you so hear the what smell she said? would go away? What? Is there any left? <laughs> Chris, Mark. he didn't mean it that no, way. No, I did not Mark mean it that way. way. You're I being mean. Did. Mark took a fan where? <laughs> to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, it is really, really I knew it would be. Really I knew bad. it would be rude. And I was, so, and you went ahead and did it I anyway. I was giggling the whole time it was cooking. <laughs> Why didn't you do the microwave in the back? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even consider it. Oh. I forgot that there was one back there. That's totally what I should have oh, done. I mean, Christy oh, walked in here. I thought that you had ruined the bathroom. I didn't I thought do, that you I didn't painted, know what Boy, happened. if I ever... No, yeah. No. I thought for sure you had uh, passed a little gas there in the hallway and you were crop dusting everybody uh, and just sitting boy. back with a grin on your face. <laughs> That's uh, a if beautiful. a great white made that smell, <laughs> I, I'd say go to the doctor. <laughs> you think yeah. this was it's what not the, that. I don't even smell it anymore. Well, that's, that's, oh, your that's your nose giving up is what yeah. that is. Yeah. You think this is what the ocean smells like all the time? Probably. <laughs> all the fish. Yeah, when it's, uh, you know, like a, a stagnant. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a... Oh, my God. Well, I, I do apologize. It's going to be... Well, you don't apologize. You said you were giggling the whole time. Was I was. Cooking. I was. In the uh, words of my therapist, you don't even know what you're saying you're sorry for. <laughs> Your therapist says that to well. you? <laughs> hey, uh, sports. Here we go. Tim Tebow's comeback and NFL career are over. The Jaguars waved him Tuesday. Bye. <laughs> Partying with the 2007 Heisman Trophy winner who oh. switched from quarterback to tight end and hopes. Oh, it finally oh, hit me over man. here. I just got a waff okay. of it too. I think I think Mark's fan. Look at Ace. He's struggling. Uh, have, some, have you smelled it yet, Pat? No, I'm oh, not leaving this room either. Got, Pat's oh. got a door. He we really did just get hit with a wave of it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's you okay. Never, don't okay. ever right. do that again. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <Don't ever. laughs> 
Let's do this. Yes, let's not ever do that again. Okay. okay. I, it is worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> when you heat up the salmon, oh, it doesn't have the soda. It's but tough this... for me because I'm enjoying eating it. You know what I mean? Like, it's my, it's a good breakfast. You sure it's not spoiled? Oh, I'm positive. I just, I, I roasted it or grilled it uh, in the oven uh, yesterday, <laughs> years ago. Thank Mark you, Mark. Is Mark is spraying for breeze. Oh, yeah. oh, that's going to ruin my meal. <laughs> Mark, spray it on his cod, yeah. please. Spray it in his no. face. That would be some Febreze-scented cod. Oh. Now when I'm trying to enjoy the cod, all I'm going to smell is that fake Febreze stuff. Oh. Aren't you something? <laughs> all about Josh. What happened to eggs in the morning, Joshua? Maybe yeah. a banana in the cereal. morning? Cereal? Or a pro we got we have protein drinks. Yes. Well, that, that wasn't one, that, that you know you the other day, didn't it, you big baby? Oh, for <laughs> Pete's sake. I, I thought I'd try something new. I, I you know what? I tried it. None, none of you are happy with this, apparently. No. Is it safe to say you didn't like what I did? Do you think this happened? Uh, you know me. You know me and the atom bomb. You know me. The atom, you, you know the atom bomb and all the yeah. explosions and the Manhattan Project. You think when Fermi split the atom, there was an odor and like, oh, come on, come on, Enrico, come on. All right, I, I will make a deal. Uh, no more cod. Thank you. Cod on show day. Show. show Can down. you imagine? Oh, if Tom oh, oh. Oh. he would he punch like you that. in the face. Would he, I? Would I oh. still be sitting right here right now? Or would I? Would he suspend me for? He a day? possibly would have sent you home. <laughs> Josh, with your con. I had I had an ex. My ex's dad was so offended by the smell of salmon that if you ate dinner with him, he would not even let you order salmon. Wow. Whoa. Yes. Well, sounds like a wonderful guy. No, genuinely. <laughs> genuinely lo was a lovely guy. Was a totally great guy. Helped me out a lot in my life, but just had this weird aversion to salmon. He, would, he couldn't be oh. around it. Man, isn't it, isn't it wild? This has such a, a pungent smell. Yeah, yeah, I don't like Who it. Who do? No, 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 no. Like hang that. on. Don't hide behind. Wow, isn't this unique and interesting? No, don't, don't, don't hide. But it stinks. It, it smells is like a horrible. Like, a, like the hallway to a bathroom when you're working the road on, and you're at a gas station. And you're like, mm, who's using that microwave? <sighs> Ugh. I'm yeah, serious. Are you sure that fish is okay? I'm positive. Did you eat it last night? No, I cooked it yesterday. It was fresh. I cooked it um, for later. This just in, uh, various people checking around, uh, in, uh, checking in from around the building. Uh, Eddie, our fabulous engineer <laughs> yeah. and employee of the week, day and month. Yes, Eddie helped said, me so much yesterday. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie said, it smells like <laughs> opening an Asian grocery where they sell lots of seafood. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. And Eddie would know. Good news. He's a man of Philippine origin. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. A Philippinese. Well, oh, you just keep you just it's keep stepping in. It. Oh, what am I saying that's wrong? <laughs> Boy, it is getting corpse like. Uh, uh, I love you, Josh. Yeah, yeah, for those smells. of you who I'm wonder good. what the uh, here you go, here guys. You, I had no idea it would permeate the building. Like it's that. still here. I thought it would ruin the green smell. room. If for those of you who've always wanted to smell the corpse flower, now's your chance. <laughs> now <we know. laughs> so All you didn't right. try any last night, then, huh? Where was I? I know it's good. Uh, how oh, do you know? Yeah. All right. How you, do you know it's good? It's fine. I love fish and seafood, but I don't cook it the night before for. Yes. Well, that's okay. Oh, I have I have a meal prep day. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, why do that? Yeah. Am I the only person that's weirded out by fish for breakfast? No, it doesn't bother me. What people have locks. I, That's I'm, normally what I have, right? The yeah, no, yeah, yeah, right. Right. No, 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 no. This is weird. I think it's a little. But I, I look. It energizes me. Good for you, buddy. Lean protein. Good for you. You mean they they want to keep their fish safe? That so they put it. The, I put spices uh, on they, it. They put it behind locks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have to play a best okay. of. Okay. We got to come I'll take, my, yeah. I'll take a little a tentative step. It smells worse than the microwave. Oh. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, oh, I was telling you this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to continue. I don't either. <laughs> that Here's what's going to have to happen. You're all going to have to grow up. Oh, <laughs> oh really? We're going to have to grow up bringing special breakfast to work, guy. We have to grow up. <laughs> I'm going to bring some pig feet in tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to bring some cooking pig, pig in here tomorrow. tomorrow as well. uh, Tim Tebow is out of the NFL. It's official. Jaguars waved him on Tuesday. He's 2007 Heisman Trophy winner and a national championship winner with uh, Urban uh, Meyer, who's coach of the Jaguars. You see how that's uh, tidy. Uh, Tebow's blocking range from awkward to awful in their preseason opener against Cleveland. Now, that was his 34th birthday, by the My way. My breath is better. And, um, and, by the way, there's bad news for anyone who purchased one of Tebow's jerseys which immediately became the hottest selling jersey when it went on sale. According to Pro Football Talk, Tebow jerseys are not covered by the league's jersey assurance. What does that mean? I don't know. The program oh. through a place called Fanatics applies to trades only. 
if there's no protection, if the player is cut or retires. Apparently, if your favorite player in a jersey you uh, have of him is traded to another team, you get an equal <laughs> you get an equal horrible, jersey. John. I can't Nobody concentrate because sorry. he's in the smell. I in just watched Chick wipe a tear from his eye. <laughs> I'm calling honestly, I'm calling the police. Uh, we have someone needs to call the authorities. Is there <laughs> we have to fumigate. <laughs> We got an email from Jason. Hi, Jason. Hey, I'm driving to uh, I'm driving to work in Toledo. I smell fish. What the hell, Josh? <laughs> right there. Right there, people. It's official. Oh, I didn't know it would be this bad. I, it's I, cod. It's cod. What did you think was going to happen? I thought it might smell up the green room a little. You were you were smiling. Uh, you said you were smiling at the fact that somebody would be in the green room, not. All you know, a hundred yards away. <laughs> I've said it before. You are a menace, Josh. <laughs> you are a menace, my friend. Trying to uh, this, this just in, he <laughs> said, <laughs> desperately trying to change the subject. After uh, 13 months of trying to come up with a new name, and I say they've got a nice name, Washington football team. I enjoy it. I think it, with if, if they were Scranton football team, you couldn't just call them Scranton, but Washington's kind of, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, sounds Washington. nice. Yeah, yeah, football team. Uh, well, they're on the verge <laughs> of finally making that happen. Washington officially narrowed its list of potential new names down to just three options. Really? But what the are fun they? part is, shut up, Christy, but the fun <laughs> part is they haven't released those three options yet. What? Oh, uh, right. On Monday during an episode of what they're calling a YouTube series Making the Brand, the three-minute episode opens with team president Jason Wright, good man, showing the names to Washington coach Ron Rivera. I love that guy. Uh, Wright lists the three finalists for the team's new name. Uh, although it's beeped out. Wright says, so the three that will go through are beep, beep, and beep. Uh, Rivera then responded by saying he really liked one of the names, but once again, we don't know the actual names. And according to reports, here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the possibilities. Evidently, it's going wait, to wait, be one of these. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. People going to vote, or is it the, are they going to just decide within themselves? They've already had people send in, and they're going to s decide among themselves. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, it's <laughs> Armada. Here's the name. Oh my God! I am. Oh. A <laughs> I'm calling. I'm calling HR at the very least. HR. Maybe I'll call the FBI, Josh. What's going on in there? You should be arrested. Do I you realize? <laughs> Do you realize if we kept a cumulative total of you being here for 35 minutes? Oh, thank goodness you're funny. Thank goodness we're all you're laughing. Menace. You've stunk up the entire building, and now you have snot on your arm here in the studio. You, you're you going to have to go throw that shirt away. Jettison that I shirt. I mean, I do have to go wash my sleeve. Well, yeah. of course you do. Yeah, we're gonna it's have to a mess. Go. Look at it. Here, I'll, 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 go, it's go. filthy. No, go, go wash. Um, we, uh, we're going to handle this. this. Anyway. No, we, we can, right. uh, oh. I'll save those for when he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was something. This is Sweet a mess. baby Jesus. Well, I hope your dad's sleeping and not um, listening oh, to the video. Well, hey, oh. um, here's something. Uh, acting United States Attorney General uh, Jennifer uh, Attorney Jeff. <laughs> The hell? The Attorney Jennifer Coolidge? Acting Jennifer United Epstein. States Attorney, yes. comma, Jennifer yes. uh, Williams has announced Tuesday that the former United States Golf Association employee who has been charged in relation to a scheme to embezzle funds from the unauthorized sale of U.S. Open Championship tickets, according to a statement released by Williams' Robert Fryer. That's the guy now faces conspiracy, wire fraud, and mail fraud charges. <laughs> Did, you, did anybody else hear him blowing his nose in the hallway? <laughs> okay. Fryer allegedly used his position from 13 to 19 to obtain 23,000 tickets he sold to third-party ticket brokers for nearly a million dollars. Whoa. Fryer faces a maximum of 300 years in prison, three years of supervised release, a $3.75 million fine, and $1,500 in special assessment. How you doing there, Smith? What I miss. You all right? Nothing. Hey, it's way better out there. They're for breezing. They've opened up the doors. The fans are going. Oh, good. It only smells in here now because we closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> what will be known as the cod incident of yes. 2021. I apologize. I didn't know it would be that bad. You know what, Josh? This Ooh. was golden. Everything that's happened in the last 20 minutes, I loved all oh, of it. Oh, I'm a mess. So I don't know what we would have done had you not stunk up the building. Are you going to go eat the other filet? Yes. Will you do it outside? Outside. Yeah. I'll eat it outside. <laughs> in fact, it's probably already outside waiting, <laughs> waiting for me. That sounds lovely. PETA is calling on the Cleveland Indians oh, oh. 
Cleveland Guardians to add a vegan hot dog mascot to its hot dog derby. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I mean, sure. How do you know they don't? They all look alike. I know. It couldn't kind of go, oh, well, yeah, it is. He's vegan. Like, he's, he's vegan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Just do like what J.K. Rowling did with Dumbledore and be like, actually, he was vegan the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Like, there was no hint of that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 28-year-old observation. <laughs> Just like Dumbledore, you know? It's <laughs> just... Oh, excuse me. I don't know He's about He's not Harry judging Potter. you. He's just saying. Yeah. Millions of people enjoy the Harry yes, Potter Yes, of course, along with you. If anything, yeah. Chick appreciates that uh, viewpoint. I feel the same way about Harry Potter that you do, yes. only the exact opposite. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I take it back. Uh, according to reports, uh, after the team announced it would be changing its name to the Cleveland Guardians, animal rights organization PETA made the request in a letter to the team's general manager, Mike Chernoff. In uh, the letter, PETA applauded the team's decision to change its name and asked the team to continue the spirit of inclusivity and try to stay away from terms like they all look alike. Oh, here it is. Yeah, oh, <laughs> That does not say it in there. It does not. Say Christy it. said all the hot dogs look alike. <laughs> hot dogs Didn't all look alike. Didn't you hear her say that? Well, they don't all look alike. Brats, polar sausages. <laughs> those, those, are hot hot dogs. Dogs. those are hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah, but hot they're, dogs. They're, in, they're under the umbrella, my friend. No. No. I'm sorry. No, I'm with Josh on this. Okay, you know what? And Just go ahead. I'm done now. I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. This, sound, this sounds a lot like your father kind of argument. He's, he so? maintains that all pasta... Uh, all pasta is different tasting. Yeah, that's from crazy. From spaghetti to bow tie pasta. No, to but I'm just ziti. saying that the brats, the Polish sausage, those are cousins to hot dogs. Cousins, but okay. They can be served in a bun at the ballgame. That's ball game. true. If I go, if we go to a ball game together, Josh, and you say, hey, can you get us a couple of hot dogs? And I come back with brats, you're not going to be angry. No, I will. You'll be when angry? I say, sure. Because I, I, that meant I was, I was crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm very specific when it comes to that kind of stuff. What? If we go to Wrigley Field together... So if you if you go, hey, give me a hot dog, and I come back with a license plate in a hot dog bun... <laughs> no, you jerk. You are so dumb if you think that's an equivalency. Are you kidding me? There's gonna be If trouble. I come back with a beautiful Polish sausage with sautéed onions and grainy mustard on top of it... I go, hey, thanks, eat it, and then go, well, I'm gonna go get that hot dog I want. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, I hate you. Go back and I get can't me a hot do this dog. anymore. I'm done lying. I'm done living a lie. You're such a jerk. I can't do this. <laughs> what no, I'm saying is, if you on. have hot dog races on a base Baseball field. Yes, they do. They're all going to look alike. Well, the hot, but they are dressed differently. The Wait, one's dogs, got mustard on it. I one's got ketchup. What, what Peter wants is for them to go and the vegan dog. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is easy to do. Just hey, say that. What if they did the vegan dog and it was just constantly losing? It was so it was, weak. It was weak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need protein to run. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's not a thing. Now Pete is going to complain. You can work out and have a build muscle mass with uh, with with a plant with pea protein. Sure, yeah. sure. So we're making rice. jokes. Yeah, I told Josh that I hated him too much. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're joking a little bit over here. I, that doesn't concern me. We all hate him. <laughs> oh, I'm um, not quite hateable. Maybe it's time for our new feature. Josh angers America. Oh, that is... Uh, <laughs> That's not... Nice. That, that, is, that works. Well, I, I'm, I don't... Uh, no, it's not time, but uh, it's good to know that we have the music. This has been Josh <laughs> angers America. Okay, where were we? Uh, Peter offered to pay for the meat-free costume and also offered to treat all the players to veggie dogs. <laughs> oh, what a treat. To which the uh, players said... Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Veggie dogs might be delicious. Yeah, I I've, had, I've had plenty of vegan dishes that are just awesome. I love Boca this, burgers. Mm -hmm. Aren't they yeah, great? They are good. Oh, gosh. It yeah. is, it's been I around for ordered. so much time. They've, they've gotten really good in the last decade. Oh, yeah. I ordered for the first time from a hamburger place yesterday, a new hamburger place. And uh, I won't tell you which uh, hamburger place it was, but uh, what happened uh, made me so mad. I, I was shaking. And uh, <laughs> Okay. I ordered a, um, a mushroom burger. Yeah. A fine choice. What do you think, mushroom burger? Swiss, uh, mushrooms, mushroom. sauteed mushrooms on there. Maybe some grilled onions. Maybe oh, sure. you get yeah. the uh, portobello. Yeah. Mushroom burger there is a giant portobello mushroom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. With onions mm -hmm. and... Portobello yeah, makes man. a nice 
I mean, yeah. it's good, but oh, when you're not expecting it. I managed to choke it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's very beefy. A yeah. Yeah. Can I ask oh, they're very good uh -oh, grilled. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, it's an Asiago bagel. Oh, uh, thank you, Mark. <laughs> we got uh, a nice Asiago bagel here. With, Are you going to uh, toss oh, it? Oh, yeah, it smells like a baked foot. <laughs> and um, isn't that something? No! Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. 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 Josh, need to, uh, we need to pick that up. I you... told you I would discus it across the room. I think we should somehow go outside and get a tape measure and see how far you can throw that sucker. Let's take bets. I'm all, we're all, yep, we're doing it. All, all right. So, so now we're wasting food. My least favorite comedian. I like to think I'm feeding the birds. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's rabbits really out there. there sure. The deer yeah. might like it, I'll watch too. the birds hop up to it, smell it, and run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, isn't it very popular? I, I don't care. I have never had one. Well, I'm not going to have one now because you threw it. It's a five-second well, rule. Yeah, we've got a 50-second rule. I'll brush it off. <laughs> no, thanks. No, you know, Asiago bagels, they're good. They're really good. You know there are people that believe in the five-second rule? I do. I sure. kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, no. Depending on what now. I drop. It's shake. on the floor. No. no matter what it is. No matter what it is. The problem at my house is who gets it first, the mm -hmm. dog or me. <laughs> I have dropped lunch meat on the floor, and then you can sort of, it's got the residue on it. You can sort of see things from the floor, and then I've, I've, I've put it in there. Yeah, I've gone for it. What? Oh, that's that's right. Now that's right. There are certain yeah. things I won't do. Lunch meat or a slice, like slice of banana <laughs> or a, a scoop of ice cream. Those things, are, they're going to trash. <laughs> This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. 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 Do I sound like I'm in pain? Are you in pain, man? Uh, a little What bit. happened? Oh, no. Me too. What we, happened? We went out. We went out and Josh said earlier that he doesn't like Asiago bagels. And what did you say? I said I would frisbee it into the woods if and you gave me one. I We took that as a, well, let's, by God, let's put his bagels where his mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. There you go. So uh, during the, just now, we all went out and threw uh, bagels as far as we could. <laughs> mm -hmm. As and far as I, we could. <laughs> I think uh, my my shoulder came out of its socket. The, my oh. shoulder being repaired is legendary. Yeah. Uh, jo well, Wait. I don't want to say who won. I had a pretty good throw, but Josh immediately disqualified. He goes, he goes, well, uh, uh, you threw it overhand. I threw it like a, what'd you say? A discus. A discus. Yeah. I threw like a discus. If I had thrown it like you, I would have, I, I could have thrown it even farther. But I could have. No, you two are pretty close, according to Oscar. I'm a little okay. surprised. Should I do the? Should I do him? Do him. All right, coming in last, Pat Godwin at oh, 33 yeah. and a half feet. Big yeah, Pat, big loser, right, Pat, in the, right in the dirt. Yeah, I don't know what I think. You throwing reminded me of my throw because mine went right into the ground too, and my shoulder denied me a proper motion. However, yeah. you went 48 feet. Chuck. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. All right. Okay. Pat then, also is the only person with a track and field background, I believe. Right. And I and I, 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 lo I lost. Did yeah. you not discus when you were in track and field? No. Oh. Well, and you guys know. I threw, I threw a ball a lot. You guys know the original Olympics, they used an Asiago bagel. That is oh, true. That's true. Yes. That's, back, mm -hmm. back in Asiago is a philosopher. <laughs> Greece, that's Greece, exactly yeah. right. Socrates, Plato, Asiago. So we're down to Josh and Willie. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Willie went further. Josh, you went 65 feet. Okay. Willie, our Six, champion. 60. 70. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish it was one last to be a little funnier. I agree with Josh but, on this. I think uh, Willie. Yeah, if, if, if we want to have a contest where we throw it like Willie did, we can do that. Oh, my gosh. Let's do it again. No, I'm, I'm, like, not, I'm just saying it doesn't matter to me. But uh, if, if Next we time we play, can we use my ball? That's what you sound like. <laughs> I'm going to oh. go home and get my ball. That way it's fair. Okay, yeah, no, that's not at all what... Uh, oh, God. the same bagel, and You're I'm still gonna, fine with that. I'm but. resorting to a... Uh, this is like I'm on a playground all over again, man. I'm going through deja vu. Oh, wait, was it, it was always this tough for you on a playground? Oh, oh, oh hey, really? Yeah, because yeah, you must have just had so much fun out there, stealing bases all, all day are long you, with your friends. Are you, you on any steroids right now, yes or no? I'm not on any steroids, no. If anything, I'm on performance dehancing drugs. Not currently, but I can eat an Asiago bagel. Real I fast. almost mellowed myself out of the competition. I mean, last night, 7:30 p.m. Give me that Asiago bagel. No way, I'm throwing it. I'm eating it. Oh yeah. <laughs> How about you? There she is. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bob and Tom. Uh, back at it Monday, August 16th, 2021. We will have a uh, complete and comprehensive update of where Tom is uh, later in the show. So, Oh, you know? 
<laughs> no, I, I did not say that. Oh, okay. But okay. one thing I have been able to did do you is get always, the ransom note? Always, always <laughs> read. I have been able to read, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Hello, Christy. Hi. Hi, Chick. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Chick. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you addressing? <laughs> Talk about Frosty over there. <laughs> it's been a long weekend, I can imagine. I, I heard, hey, Pat Godwin. <laughs> Hi, Chick. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, pretty good. I didn't give you the thumbs up today. I've been kind of chasing I know. Ass. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, thumbs up. Hello, uh, was it Josh? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Josh. And Hi, Chick. Uh, whatever. Hi, Ace. <laughs> Mr. McGee. Willie. Yes, there Mr. We McGee. Go. Good all to right. see you. We're, we're off and at it and raring to go. Okay. Uh, Be careful out see. there, kids. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. uh. Yeah. The wheels are coming off. Uh, dear idiots, let's let's get this right out of the way. Yeah. Shall we? Right. Dear, idiots. dear idiots, first I want to thank, I don't know how this happened, and I didn't notice it, I guess, because I wasn't the object of his ire. But this is uh, the one of the this is the tone of many emails we've gotten so far since Tom has been absent. First, I want to thank Josh for filling in as the show dick while Tom was on assignment. <laughs> yeah. That's true. My, money, my <laughs> yes. money's on Christy. I think she'll. Uh, I think he can whip his ass. I, I think. You think I can whip Josh's ass? Absolutely. See, that's my thing. I've been trying to get her. I've been trying to rile her up. You've been trying to, trying to get, her to get whip me. My ass. And and really, you want help. me to beat you? Oh, <laughs> Josh, he deserves it. <laughs> Josh, he Joshy wants it. Joshy deserves Joshua it. Joshua Matthew, you get in. Yeah. Oh goodness. I mean, that's. Uh, yeah. Josh has filled the dick hole with gusto. <laughs> oh, he means the hole. Can the hole. I say right. we are the person who is a dick? Am I wrong on that for reading that? I, with gusto. I also, I also, kids saw a Tom-like situation while I was at a place called West Marine. All true sailors get their high-quality parts and accessories. I was uh, in my car feeding my newborn. Well, all the sailors do that when they come back from sea. <laughs> uh, another customer walked out to his car. He pulled on the trunk for a minute, but it wouldn't open. Then he pulled out his key fob and pushed the unlock button and <laughs> pulled again. Nothing. <laughs> then he went to the driver's side door to try to open it from there. And at that point, the guy turned around and saw his car, the identical blue Volvo, <laughs> in the parking lot. I laughed as I tried to think of, of course, Tom doing the same. Sure, sure. My goodness. Thanks for all the laughs uh, this week. Uh, look forward to listening more. Who's this? Uh, this is from uh, Luke. Lukey. Luke. Thanks, Luke. Luke. So there you go. What'd you, uh, what'd you do this weekend, Josh? Did you do anything at all of, of interest? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I thought no, it was yeah, movie we weekend, right? Uh, I watched a couple flicks, um, and... Uh, All I know is Friday, I had a report of Josh being under the covers a half hour after the show ended. <laughs> it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> We're talking about Friday the 13th all morning. It's Josh's yeah. favorite movie, and it right? was Friday the 13th. And then I'm looking at my phone. I'm still at work, because me and Alzi are working on something. Right. And I just see posted six minutes ago, and it's Josh, <laughs> and he's tucked into bed, and his TV is playing Friday the 13th. And uh, he's, part three. Part three. Excuse yeah, me. Sure. Excuse oh, you started sir. with part three. I did. Oh, okay. And he is wiggling his little toes <laughs> under the blanket in beat with the music. And I just go, Josh is having the best day of his life right now. <laughs> it's a good day. So happy. He I was the, so happy. I watched a couple of those movies. Yeah, they had a marathon. And a documentary. Oh, uh, Crystal Lake Memories? Uh, I forget what it was called. Oh, there's there's Crystal Lake Memories, and there's, his something? name was Jason. Excuse me, there's two documentaries about the Friday the 13th series? At least, yeah. Oh. At least two, yeah. <laughs> it was based on a Finnish something? Uh, some... Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what? I, I've seen that documentary okay, okay. you're talking about. I thought they made some leaps, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that so Friday the 13th was based on a true story. Kind of. There were campers <laughs> who were killed. I That was essentially... <laughs> Well, I, I mean, Willie is uh, Willie's the big camp guy. I mean, you love camp. The, it, the, those memories that uh, you form in camp, you you become an adult uh, after all those uh, learning how to fight somebody for a kayak or. What. Oh no! Sneaking around, <laughs> sneaking around the volleyball courts, trying to get a smooch at oh, the yeah. uh, party oh. at the point. Was you know what your first about? kiss at a camp? No, my first kiss was on a school trip. Oh, all right. Well, for now you. we've got a topic. <laughs> well, where would a first kiss be besides the magical, enchanted, romantic land of? Dearborn, Michigan. Yes. Ah, of yes, course, Michigan. 
What is it about uh, Henry? Michigan Rock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Henry Ford's Child at Home just gets you fired up. You know, was you it on know? the bus in it the back was, seat? It was at the hotel in that little like common oh. area on the second floor. It was big news. Everybody heard about it. I got in major trouble. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble. She didn't want to kiss you? No, I got in a lot of trouble. It was it was fine. It was just a little pack, but I got this. I got Mr. Wymouth, my teacher, goes, you're going to in a lot of trouble now. And the eight-hour bus ride home, and I wasn't allowed to sit next to anybody because I was in trouble. Longest bus ride of my life. Uh. And we finally, we get to the parking lot of my middle school, and Mr. Wymouth is walking with me and my dad. And then he, Mr. Griswold, uh, on the school trip, uh, Willie thought it'd be a good idea to kiss a girl. And then my dad's face just lit up with pride. <laughs> and he goes, this guy kissed a girl? I was getting a little worried about him. <laughs> and then they high-fived. It was crazy. I had no oh. clue what to do. Uh, no, Tom, you don't understand. Uh, he's a senior and she's in sixth grade. No. Oh. <laughs> no, we were both, we were both, you know, 12. I, I think she was what older than me. What is wrong you know? with you? Let's go. I was Can we go to... eighth grade at least, maybe? <laughs> is that, uh, I, I don't know. Okay. It's a big sixth news grade. story today, actually, about that. Kissing? Uh, no, about the... the Kissing no. kids in school? No, about no. marrying kids that are 14. Oh, Yes, I saw this. Did you see Boy, that? Boy, is this something... I had no idea. Oh. Are we? The state of North Carolina, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, they're changing the law to 16. Oh, oh okay. okay. It, it was 14? It seems like, It was sure. 14. This seems like a good <laughs> step. <laughs> yeah. In the right direction. And if you are 16, you can only marry someone four years older than you. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like uh. they should have... If you can't take your wife to go to a rated R movie, then maybe you shouldn't be able to be married, right? Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody, I would imagine, has a good first kiss story. Is that right? I don't think Christy and I do, though. I don't really no? remember. I think I remember. Okay, maybe my memory will... I uh, Here I go. Uh, Mine was, was at the... We, you know, we lived in a trailer park, mobile home, max, manufactured housing. Sure, community. sure. Yeah. But we had a beautiful pool area where we hung out all summer, and oh, one yeah. of the boys that lived in the trailer park and I, I think, kissed there. That was my first kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah. How Isn't old cool? do you think? Uh, probably fourteen. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, so maybe yeah. I was I was lumping you in with my misery. I'm sorry. What? My first kiss was my first cousin. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, and it was a girl, folks. You know what? <laughs> hey yo. And it was. A maybe girl. I did shut that memory out, but yes, I did kiss my first cousin, so, Joey. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Joey. Joey. <laughs> Give me a well, he Joey. goes by Joe now, but back then it was well, Joey. Well, my first cousin's name was Debbie. <laughs> And then you, <laughs> Sammy, you'd go home and listen to Concrete Blonde. <laughs> Joey, that song wasn't out then, but <laughs> so anyway, th- this happens, and I think I'm—I don't know—the ninth, the eighth, ninth grade, something like that. And uh, um, we were in the basement, yada yada. Anyway, so fast forward to I don't know, twenty years later, twenty-five years later, my uh, wife at the time. Uh, who's a normal person. This is the normal wife. Yes. Uh, the normal ex-wife who's... Uh, and, uh, you know, I've grown up and learned things and all this, but my cousin, who is at the funeral we're attending, has not... <laughs> oh, I can't who's not already. made any advances as far as uh, maturity <laughs> oh, or... Oh, she's sure. she's kind of... So we walk in, and my wife at the time looks at the cousin and says, so you're, her, you're his first kiss. Oh. And she goes... I thought we put that in the dark, dark hole. <laughs> and we're never, we're never going to tell anyone about it or say anything. I know to what you did living. last summer. I know what you did. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, that, boy. That, yeah, boy. That sure, yeah, I do remember. That was that so sure innocent, did. though. What I was like, twelve or something is like. I don't know if there's any grab ass when I could. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we announced it earlier. The official uh, news release. This. As the show has done over the years, we get off the rails with facts, but here are the facts. And then we're going to go off the rails, I have no (laughs) doubt. The facts are that, yes, Tom is, Tom Griswold is recovering in a hospital. He had scheduled uh, heart valve surgery. Now, when they got in there, they thought, well, let's just... This, let's just uh, replace that valve mm-hmm. instead of repairing it. So they did <laughs> replace it with a cow valve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he is resting comfortably, well, as comfortably as our man Tom can rest. They also gave him udders. Isn't that going to be interesting? <laughs> He's got the most. He is ordering the staff around. Or man he, boobs, whichever way you want. And he is him. going to be staying in the hospital <laughs> because he said he can bring some real change, lasting change. <laughs> 
<laughs> and point this hospital in a new direction. Uh -huh. And, and Josh, let's let's set the facts straight there, Josh. They gave him seven udders, one per each kid. I mean, it was just oh, a of course, yeah. Yeah. procedure. Yeah. They had to. Oh, they and can't leave him up. He has you, to have eight. <laughs> would you suckle from your father's teat? Oh, God. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> no, he was having a little bit of anxiety. And he goes, hey, Willie, can you do me a favor? Can you rub my ankles? And I go, sure, because his ankles just felt swollen. And he goes, I know this is so weird. I know <laughs> like, Dad, it's no big deal. But would you suckle from your father's <laughs> Well, let's be honest. That's sort of what you've been doing your whole life. Oh, and there's the line. Shots are fired. Nepotism, look it up. And didn't one of the nurses come in with a really, uh, uh, your what your dad thought was a sunburn? Oh, Jess. Didn't she have some advice for Jess, uh -oh. he this has right up your alley. Yeah. So you have these great, uh, this beautiful uh, sleeve tattoo, and I'm sure my I dad do. has made some comments about it. Sure. He he cannot, when something's in his eyes, mm -hmm. a woman had some, some red arms, some redness on there. My dad goes, you got to make sure you wear sunscreen, protect your arms. And that's when I knew he was okay. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm going through menopause, <laughs> going through menopause and I'm having <laughs> hot flashes, and it manifests my arms turn red and then he goes oh i'm so sorry i never say things like that and i go that's him he's good that's and we him, have right. set up a web uh, website address for uh, well wishers and what other comment any other comments you'd like to offer him yeah, yeah you make can them nice yes please yeah, don't, don't let tom Come know on. how well the show's going without him yes. oh my god <laughs> do us a solid will you yeah. you, know, you can reach out at get well at bob and tom uh let him know that you wish him well Okay. Get there well, you. get well soon. We, we want you to get well. <laughs> Christy, what do you got over there? Well, apparently playing on railroad tracks as kids was something a lot of people did. And not recommended, but yes. No. <laughs> we, a bunch no, of us no. did it. No, no. Yeah, we did. Before I was 16 and could drive, there were a few of us who would now and then hop on the train going by, ride it two miles down near the McDonald's where the other cool kids went to hang out after school. Yes, I'm probably lucky to be alive. Yeah. But it was fun at the time. Thank sure. you, David, in Toledo. I don't know if I should read this one. David is Toledo. This is from Chicago, or Cincinnati, rather. Terry, my father would take the three of us on the railroad tracks going through Elmwood Place in Cincinnati. We would jump on the trains with them. I was eight, my sister seven, my brother five. We met a lot of hobos. <laughs> We met a lot of hobos. <laughs> Once on the railroad cars, it was crazy stuff. Keep up the funny work. Well, wow. thank you, Terry. That, that is insane. something. Hobos. Well, I mean, my childhood never met a hobo. Been any different than that. <laughs> We're, you know, I haven't met a hobo either, and I would love to. Yeah. Me too. And I literally... Are you out of your mind? No, no. I'd happily... Uh, I, if I ever met a hobo, let's say walking, you know, kind of in a field with their bindle <laughs> stick. Of course. Like, oh, sir, may I, may I uh, yes. buy you lunch and just hear about some of your adventures? I'd love it. <laughs> Well, that you're, seems exploitative. You want to hear his tales? Of course, but you, wouldn't a hobo be happy to oh, share? Oh, you think you're entitled to the tales of hobos. That is for the hobo, my friend. Oh, man. You know what, Willie? You might be right. That you is gotta, a, a life of wonder. you got to earn exactly. those stories. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. And, yeah, and a lunch won't cut it. No. 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 <laughs> Maybe a bottle. <laughs> Not all hobos are drunks. Oh, now, hang oh, on. Hang I on. think okay. hobos choose to be hobos. They do. I don't think that That's they're... That's the difference, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know what You know what <laughs> drives them to be in a hobo? What? Women. Oh, absolutely. How many women hobos do you see? You know... None. You mean hobuses? <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought ho ho hobets, maybe? <laughs> oh, hobets is... Yeah, smoother. <laughs> right. Ho hobags? <laughs> Oh, oh, the whole bag. You wouldn't want to go with it. Problematic there, Shakespeare. As woke Willie, wow. I have to tell you. That's probably not. Yeah. <laughs> whole bets. Yeah. Whole bets little, is cute. I like a it. Little, a little rough. Whole bags, whole bets. Do you think Tom would let me take a week off just to be a hobo for a week? Oh, my. To jump barely, on a train? He barely would let you, you take a day off. Would you Facebook Live this? Really you know, see Zoom America? Us? Yeah. Jump on a train. What, you're just going to take an Amtrak to St. Louis? No, no, no. A boxcar and some uh, cattle train. Oh, it's going to smell like urine. Well, of course. Especially oh. After a while, it'll smell like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I give you three days, an honest three days on the road as a hobo, and then I think you're back to civilization. I think you check into a hotel. I think you're done with the hobo life. After three days? Yep. I don't think you can swing it. I think you have That's, one or yeah. two denty more cans or whatever it is. I guarantee I could go a full seven. Really? Yeah. How? So, yep. What? What experience do you have being a hobo, Josh? <laughs> well, you guys know that I've often taken vacations by myself. Yeah, or, uh, but you're in a cabin. And That's true. Uh, you know, a cabin and a boxcar don't, they're not that different. <laughs> Have you ever been on a train? A boxcar is just a cabin that moves. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> gonna bring your own food? No running yeah. water, no public. I'll have a backpack. What are you gonna eat? 
The food I bring. I'll have Spam. I'll have uh, crackers. And, oh, excuse me. You do not have a backpack. The most you can have is the bindle on a stick. You mm -hmm. get whatever can fit in a handkerchief tied to a stick. That's what I'm you get. I'm with Willie on this No, one. no. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, today's hobos have actual backpacks, oh, and I do? think I should be allotted. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot hobo. that new uh, ad that I saw. Well, GN Sport, now. the official backpack <laughs> of hobos. Wait a minute. And hipsters. <laughs> and hipsters, yeah. <laughs> what are those? But One backpack? Hershey's? Or what are those? The Herschel's. Herschel's. Yeah. Those are really, yeah. In you fact, know. some hobos even have those giant military duffel bags. Well, that would be... That's well, that would you carry that? What well, you throw you? that first onto the boxcar, and then you got to run, and then you <laughs> jump onto the boxcar. We've all seen it. No, we haven't. Well, now Where you're... are you looking at hobos? Yeah, you're being a movie hobo, not a real hobo. Yes, you're like... Oh. I'll have you know I'm a self-described <laughs> train spotter. I, I often sit with my binoculars and watch the locomotives. Do you? Really? Yeah. You're going to run and catch a train at 30 I've miles an hour. I've never run and catch a, caught a train. <laughs> But I could. <laughs> Have you ever been on a train? Of course. Okay. I mean, in uh, in one of the box car, cars. Box cars, not a seat on the train. No. <laughs> a lot of Do you know how fast they go? Yes. <laughs> All right. You don't see a lot of them with the doors open anymore either. Mm, I live near a train track, and they they stop. Actually, actually, my house you could catch the train at my exactly. house. Exactly, there are honest. plenty. They slow down. They, they do slow down. Right. Mine stop. They I stop at my house. So yeah. there's a big train yard out here to the west too. They stop around. I've had there my eye on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we would set you up to do this, and then our next discussion on the air would be what kind of prosthetic limb you'd like to have. Well, either that or did you hear Josh was stabbed to death? <laughs> yeah. Day five. Day five. Day five. He's trying to stretch it out. Bust his heart. Would you hitchhike there, Josh? Didn't make it. Hitchhike to the train? No, no. I would oh. walk. Wow. I'm on my own, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to see America like nobody Good else has seen. Morning, it. America. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you need to I'm write the Josh Hobo song. Josh. Oh, we've got to write son. that. Yeah, I'll write that. Yeah. yeah. Call Drive it Hobo. It. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> We should call it that. Right. Walk, Willie, what do you think? I, 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 I've I never hated myself more for laughing at something. Oh, yeah. Walk, Willie sounds like a hobo. <laughs> yeah, you guess who was in that boxcar? Walk, Willie. What would Telling be your me hobo that my uh, No Fat Chicks t-shirt is no longer accepted. <laughs> Yeah, what's your hobo name? What's your Josh? hobo name? Hmm. Oh, you got to come up with a hobo name. Yeah. yeah. We all need hobo names. There's got to be a... Is there a formula for Ramblin that? Arnold. Be a... Ramblin' Arnold. Ramblin' yeah. Arnold. Yeah. Hobo uh, name. How about yes. Arnie Tracks? Oh, Arnie oh, Tracks nice. is great. That's Arnie great. Tracks Chick, sounds you like, like a Arnie DJ. Tracks? I, Arnie I like Tracks Arnie Tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's see. I Arnie don't. Tracks. Yeah. Uh, Ar what about Arnie, Arnie, uh, Arnie Steel Beam? <laughs> steel beam. That sounds like a porn. That's oh, right. steel beam. Yeah. yeah. There you go. How about that Shaq? Isn't that the name of the hobo on? Uh, no, that's the name of Ernest Borgnine in Emperor of the North. Boy, that's a great name. How about oh, Loose wow. Caboose? Yeah. Loose yeah. Caboose. There's 49 <laughs> hobo names. I, I like Caboose. Arnie Caboose. Ar Caboose. Uh, mm. Caboose Kelly. Caboose Kelly. Uh, yeah. Sort of whole legend about me. Sure. Oh, yeah. You don't Boy, these Caboose are. Kelly. There yeah. are a lot of girl hobos. Apparently, <gasps> Saggy Jill Rail Rider. <laughs> ah, Saggy Rail. Jill yes. Rail Rider. I'll have you know. <laughs> Sweetest woman, you have to get over her goiter. She is the oh. sweetest. Oh, uh, like Frog Face Sally? That's a Frog another one. Face Sally oh, has a face what some call frog, frog face, Sally. I call beauty marks. Really? Harmonica <laughs> Rachel, mistress of the iron rail. Oh boy, Harmonica Rachel can suck and blow. Oh. That's crazy. That's a harmonica. It's a harmonica. It's a harmonica joke. Yeah. 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 Dan Ashwood. Well, the steel rails humming. Oh, can't you see me sitting on the edge? Oh, no. hobo's love. There's a hobo called Jackson the Spam Bomber. Oh, dude. Dude, you don't mess with him. I got I got Buttercup over here. I got Alligator Snapper. Oh. I got Stumpy. <laughs> I got Stripper Jack Larson. Stripper oh. Jack These Larson. All good. Yeah. Pancake Flippin' Williams. Oh, dude, you you want to spend a Sunday morning with him? Oh, I bet. <laughs> Pancake Flipper. Pizza throwing jar. Are these actual hobos? That's what it says. I don't. I mean, huh? You know they have a hobo convention in Hoboken. Hoboken. <laughs> no. uh, they really do. Like every year Wait in New Jersey. Wait a minute. Tell they do? God. Yeah, we've talked. We talk about it every year. I didn't know hobos like wordplay so much. That's cool. Yes, and uh, maybe I could go and say, hey, folks, I haven't earned it yet. Yeah, yeah, no. you gotta, you gotta, I'd have to take a, a train, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, you can't. It's seven a, days, you said. Now, I think these are all made up, but they're still funny. Do you have Big to have top a, Joe Hopper. Do you have to have an instrument to be a hobo? Like, do you have to, like, play the spoons or, or the harmonica? harmonica? I was just thinking about, I was just going to ham bone. Okay, okay. 
Right. There you go. <laughs> Hang on a second. Josh, yeah. Josh, sit down. <laughs> you do. You have to have a talent, You're right? You're going to hurt yourself. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you got to be able to yep, stay I'm alive. Right. <laughs> okay, apparently someone, uh, this is David from Cedar Falls, Iowa. And get right back up. Uh, he says, uh, guys, I hate to burst your bubble, but if you get caught on train tracks, just on the tracks, it's a $10,000 fine. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. How can they expect a hobo to pay that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I would just look money. at him and go, okay. Yeah. And then hobo my way across the country. <laughs> Where's the hobo convention again, Josh? Well, I had heard hobo Hoboken, New Jersey. Hoboken! But... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am again! Man, that's Bugs and the Penguin. Nothing but uh, we just got a letter saying that DeWitt, Iowa has a, a hobo festival. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Huh. Huh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Is All right. Boxcar Willie still around? <laughs> Oh, the, oh, it sounds good. This According to the story in Smithsonian Magazine, there was Connecticut Shorty, Jeff the Czech, Minnesota Jim, <laughs> Mystic Will, Slim Tim. Mystic Jump Will will tell you anything you want to know oh, about Oh, here's a good one. <laughs> Jump off John. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. It, it was sort of the. You ever heard of an Irish goodbye? Uh -huh. When somebody will leave a plot sure. of saying yeah. goodbye. Right. That was jump off John. Was you'd be it? talking to him. Gone. You'd turn your head. You'd look back. He was gone. Yeah. yeah. Never say goodbye. What about Honeypot Heather? Honey Pot Heather? Did you ever run into her? Honeypot Heather. Uh, oh, sweet lady. Sweet she sure lady. was sweet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah. uh, that honey pot. <laughs> here, Josh, here you go. I'd love to sing a song called the Wabash Cannonball. Hot Scar Willie. Hot Scar Willie. You have to look forward to it. Good times like this. Oh, you're playing the mouth hard there, Josh. Shut up. Eight more minutes. I bought a mouth harp once from Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, doing, doing. almost cracked my incisor in two. <laughs> right to the dentist. Oh. Yeah. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.